How does Algorand incentivize decentralization and node running without rewards? And is this something that could be changed over time? Yeah, so I'd say first off, decentralization has a lot of different sort of like arms and axes in terms of like what do people mean when they say it. Um, you know, for instance, you know, I believe that Algorand's inherent sort of technical design using VRS um, is the most decentralization friendly design out there. Uh, but that's only one piece of the pie, right? So when we talk about node running specifically, you know, our perspective is if you care about the technology, you care about securing the technology, then node running is your, it's your, it's a civic duty, right? Like this is, this is your civic duty to give back to the protocol is to run a, a node and help secure the protocol. Uh, we believe that creates better citizens uh, and a more robust network than you would otherwise. Now, is it possible that we're going to add in financial rewards in the future? Sure, it's possible. Um, and how would we do that? We do that the way we do anything else. It'd be, um, you know, put into a release. Uh, node runners would vote to take it uh, or not take it, uh, just like we do with every release. Uh, so definitely possible, not a focus currently, though. Now, if Algorand is open sourced, what prevents it from being able to be forked? Yeah. So first off, it is open source, uh, has been from the beginning. Yeah. Um, but here's what I'll say on this. Building, innovating, maintaining a blockchain is hard. Uh, it takes specialized skill and not just uh, implementers, right? Like you need some academics too. It's uh, algorithmic, it's theoretical. To really move it forward, you need a really specialized team. And it's not like, um, you know, you can just be like, oh, hey, JT, like let's, let's go run a blockchain. It's uh, it's like more complicated than that. And if you have that team of people, uh, the odds are that team of people is like uh, like with anything else. Like I don't want to use somebody else's thing. Like we're super smart. We've got the right skills. Let's do something that makes a lot of sense for us. Uh, and so you're going to build your own thing. Um, now, could you fork Algorand? Sure. Uh, but you know, good luck keeping up with us if you do. Uh, <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, that's a that's a fair. No but I've heard uh, Sylvia McCallie say it's mathematical, mathematically uh, ah, almost we're impossible. About different forking now. Okay, so okay. There is there is forking of the like the repo of the actual code. Mm -hmm. uh, there is, uh, and then there's like this this concept of like a soft fork. So on uh, blockchains like uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum or Solana, um, when you uh, there are uh, multiple chains, so you get a block that comes out. And it could be the block. And so you build blocks on top of that block. And then there's two chains, competing chains. And then one is longer. And so you drop the shorter one and you go with the other one. Each one, each time they're competing, competing sort of like mini chains like that. Um, it, it's, it's called a soft fork. Uh, we do not soft fork. So if you see a, or, or the, the odds are 10 to the negative 18th that we will soft fork. Uh, so uh, if you see a transaction in a block, it is final. That's it. There's, it, it will not be reverted. Whereas a number of these other chains, uh, for different periods of time, uh, your transaction could be in a block, but then the block gets reverted. Uh, so you're not really sure until you actually get to that finale. For us, uh, if it's in a block, it's final. That's it. I hope you enjoyed that clip. And if you'd like to see the entire video, click the link down in the description below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps to get the word out there. Thanks.